Hello. I want to share with you a dream I had tonight and a Sufi teaching I read afterwards and a connection that popped up between these insights and my dance practice. So in Sufism, dream interpretation is very important, looking at dreams, dreams as the voice of the unconscious. So in my dream, I was in a guest house, holiday house with some friends and everything was chaotic and my stuff was all over the place and this friend wanted to do this and this wanted to do this and the girl wanted to go to the beach with some strangers and the beach I knew wasn't very beautiful. And even writing, trying to write down that dream, I was like confused and fragmented. It's like, uh, I can't quite, what is it all about? And later on in the dream, I, I decided to do my own thing and take a bus, but the bus wasn't working for me, so I quickly grabbed my stuff and then I walked along a curved road and it was hot and there were dunes <laughs> and some people were there, but I was walking alone and in the end, I arrived at a beautiful hotel or bungalow resort or and um, while I was walking out I, I didn't have any pants on so I was naked and um, and when I arrived I had swimming trunks on and there was a beautiful woman and so I was like okay this is interesting so my conclusion of the dream was that I am in a frazzled or fragmented state and I need to walk home, I need to walk alone and take the slow road, not the bus. And once I arrive, um, basically things would work out, you know, the swimming tr trunks appeared, a woman appeared. <laughs> and um, so I like that. Like, and, then, and then I listened to Lewin Von Lee, Llewellyn Von Lee, that's a strange, like Sufi teacher, originally from Great Britain. And uh, in the teaching that I heard, he said that life is fragmented in the beginning before the spiritual path. And then once you make the journey home to yourself, which is whole, always whole, also life becomes more whole and uh, slowly slowly as you attune yourself away from the ego to the inner self um, you merge with the heart then you become more whole and it's like whoa this is crazy you know like having that dream and then immediately listening to a teaching that kind of uh, that and I know that from myself that when I look at all the activities I do in life or all the things and if I see them separate you know this is work and this is friendship this is for my body this is learning this is relationship this is spirituality and even within work there's different projects so if I look at all these things separately and the mind likes to split things up and then I get really like overwhelmed, you know, like oh, all these things and all so many things to do. And and the mind then wants to figure things out. I want to figure things out. And I think about reducing and focusing on one thing and and that's all good but it's all on the level of the mind and the mind then also separates between work and free time and I've been experiencing sort of slowly emerging where I don't know anymore sometimes I think I don't work enough and then I'm like oh but I'm working all the time <laughs> somehow 
And um, what came up for me was I was thinking of dancing yesterday, contact improvisation dancing, and I realized in a dance, or when I'm dancing for an hour or two in a room and there's different dances, sometimes I dance alone, sometimes with a partner, sometimes the dance gets more active and sometimes more calm, sometimes the dance flows, and then some things don't work out and it gets a little like, uh, at times the body needs to take it slow and then wants to move and be active and challenge itself. And within the dance frame, I don't start thinking, well, this is this and that is that and here and there and compartmentalizing these different dances. It's just one continuous happening and I might notice for a second, oh, now it's flowing more and now it's more active, but it's not really me doing it. And I realized, oh yeah, in the end, life is like this dance. And um, some activities seem a little harder and some seem a little easier. Some seem more joyful, some less so. And that's all well. The problem arises when I then start saying I want more of this and not of that and uh, or since this is work I should do it this many hours or or I need to balance work-life balance already this kind of um, <laughs> word doesn't make sense and so to me it's like okay if I can experience this this acceptance of uh, these different states and see them as one within a dance then I can do the same in life. See these different movements within life and uh, see that it's one. And um, so just as knowing that it's one dance, I can also be connected to the heart and to my inner being and say, oh, it's one life dance. I wanted to share this with you. Uh, yeah, and I don't know, I hope <laughs> it might inspire you somehow. I'm also a little agitated and thinking, oh, maybe this video takes too long, you know, like who has time to listen to eight minutes of this guy talking nowadays? There's too many breaks, too many pauses in between. Hmm. And with these kind of thoughts, I then limit myself. I stop doing what I love to do. Like, for example, I'm inspired to do a video and talk to you. And then if I create all sorts of boundaries, a framework of how this video is supposed to look like, then it starts feeling like work. What is work? It's like <laughs> a less joyful activity. Yeah. And I do want to share more often. And let's see, maybe I will manage to share more often if I don't create too many expectations, too many boundaries of how a video is allowed to be. Yeah. So this is me today. I hope you have a good day. And if you want, you can share a few moments of silence with me.
Thank you. Bye-bye.